What is up y'all? It's your girl Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the importance of waking up at 5 a.m. And I know y'all going to want to fight me because I don't even, it's hard for me to do it even though I've been doing it. But I want to tell you how waking up at 5 a.m. literally changed my life, changed my, my business, and I believe is one of the key contributing factors that made me a millionaire. So, you gonna wanna start waking up early, all right? So grab your notebook, grab a pen, and let's get into these gems. Ellie talks money to create the better days. Business, money, life, the Ellie way. All right, y'all, welcome back into the video. So we are talking about how waking up at 5 a.m. changed my life, changed my business, and literally helped me to make a million dollars. So let's get right into what this can do for you now number one thing i want to recommend to you guys is to read the 5 a.m club okay it is such a great book one of my favorite books i think i've read it maybe two or three times right now by now and it's just so great and me as well i wake up at 5 a.m anyway or i'm supposed to you know some days be a little but I generally try my best every single day to wake up at 5 a.m. And that's when I pray. It's my first prayer of the day. So that is already something that is built into my routine. And when I was in the process of scaling my business, I found that having those extra hours in the morning made an instrumental difference in my level of focus in my ability to get things done and just overall to be ahead of the day, okay? The saying, the early bird gets the worm, is not just for jokes or for play play. It is definitely a huge statement of truth. When you are up early, okay, here's the great thing about being up at 5 a.m. Number one thing that you are able to do is lock in on your day. So I would recommend do not get up at 5 a.m. and then immediately get on your phone and start scrolling Instagram. Something that I have implemented is the time limits on my phone. So my phone will not even unlock until about 7 a.m. Pacific time and or certain apps rather will not unlock until about 7 a.m pacific time just to make sure that i am locked in focused doing other things that need to be done to maximize my day such as looking at my to-do list or adding tasks to my to-do list praying reading and if you can getting in a workout in that first one to two hours of the day before you get going is a great way to wake up your body wake up your system and just allow you to be as productive as possible as well if any of you watching this are mothers waking up at that 5 a.m time frame unless you have a newborn is generally before your kids are awake and that can be such an instrumental time for us us the parents to lock in with ourselves to remind ourselves of who we are to get in tune with our goals and to strategize our day because we know that once those kids are up it's time to brush teeth, it's time to do hair, it's time to make breakfast, it's time to get them ready for school. And in the midst of running behind them, it can be very hard to find that time to figure out what you need to do, which is why that early 5 a.m. wake up call is so very, very key. And some of the ways that this really changed the way I operate in my business is really through my content strategy. I found that by me waking up earlier, and me having more time to reflect on the previous day as well as the goals I had for that day, I was able to come up with better content. I was able to conduct some research online and in relates to what questions people have about my industry. So business funding, business credit, women entrepreneurship, scaling a business. And all of that allowed me to write those questions down, get them on my to-do list, and then go into the day already knowing what content to create. So when you can maximize your hours and already have your content out of the way, then you can focus those other hours where people are just starting to wake up and maybe just starting their content on converting, on going live, on answering questions in the DMs, on customer service, and etc. So you've already checked off one huge thing on your list before the rest of the world has gotten started with their day. Because statistically, probably less than 20% of the US population wake up as early as that. And as well, probably less than 10% of other entrepreneurs in your space potentially are waking up at 
5 a.m. or before. So this is literally giving you an edge on your competition because you're awake when they're sleeping, okay? Be awake when they're sleeping. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready, all right? And some of the ways that waking up at 5 a.m. really increased my income as well, of course, are related to the amount of content I was able to make, also are related to the fact that I was able to very clearly outline my to-do list, but as well, I often tell you guys to strategize your goals. So if you wanna make 100K, then we want to reverse engineer that and divide that 100K by 12. That lets us know how much we need to make a month then divide that by four, which lets us know how much we need to make a week, and then divide that by seven, which lets us know how much we need to make per day. So I found that by waking up earlier, I was able to more accurately look at, okay, how many hours am I up in my working day, which gave me more hours to actually put towards hitting my daily goal. So when I was looking to make maybe $100 a day, I was able to instead start making $300 a day because of the fact that I had gained an extra two, three, or four hours in that morning time frame that I could use towards scaling my business, making more sales in my business, improving certain systems in my business. And I also want you guys to understand this, on a neurological level, and this is why I tell you to read the book, The 5 AM Club, on a neurological level, your brain cells, your body, everything is the freshest at 5 a.m. I want you guys to understand something. Our bodies align with sunrise and sunset. So when the sunrise is happening, which typically is usually anywhere between 4.30 to 6 a.m., depending on the time of year, you are in the best position to really maximize the energy and momentum for your day in that time frame. If you guys find that you're currently waking up feeling groggy and sluggish and just unmotivated for the day, do this, set your alarm 30 minutes earlier for the next couple weeks and then again another 30 minutes until you get to that point where you can comfortably get up out of bed at 5 a.m. I know you will see a big difference in your productivity. This is a, y'all, y'all know I am not gonna give you anything that actually doesn't work and it's so important for you to realize that making money in your business, building wealth, and doing all these things that I is my mission to help you achieve. Yes, a part of that is strategy and systems and, and all of this. However, another huge part of it is your routine, is your lifestyle change. The biggest lesson I've learned is that becoming a millionaire is one thing, but staying a millionaire is a matter of a lifestyle. Becoming one is strategy, but staying one means changing completely who you are in order to stay at that frequency and have that level of consistency and routine and discipline to continue making a million dollars, all right? So comment what questions you have down below. Are you already waking up at 5 a.m. right now? And if you are not, what challenges do you have doing it and if you would like to how can i help let me know if i should do a part two on this all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye